morning, Claxton students, staff, and families. Today is Monday, March 29th, and today is the 142nd day of school. Today is National Lemon Chiffon Day. Lemon chiffon cakes are these donut-shaped cakes with lemon favoring that is a bit sweet. They usually have some white frosting and some lemon shavings or lemon slices. Mmm, delicious. Today's weather is going to be sunny with a high of 64 degrees. Now let's check in with our happy days and musical Mondays. Happy birthday over the weekend to Kayoyo L in third grade, Tiger MM in third grade, and Mr. Garrity. Happy birthday today, March 29th, to same as B in fifth grade. I hope you guys all have a great birthday. Bye bye. Good morning, Claxton leaders, and welcome to a musical Monday morning. This morning, I want to share with you my little cheek drum technique for making body percussion rhythms. I've been noticing lately that a lot of people are enjoying these when we do them on our screen meets, but some of you are having a little bit of trouble figuring it out and maybe hitting yourself a little too hard. Now, if you are in your classroom, you'll have to wait until you're somewhere where you can have your mask off to do these little cheek drum rhythms. But if you're at home, I'll give you enough time to try them back to me as I demonstrate this morning. And if you're somewhere where you have to have your mask on right now, just pay careful attention so that when you get the chance to be somewhere safe for your mask to be off, you can practice this fun way of making rhythm. Now, when I play on my cheek drum, I am pretty gentle on myself. I'm not typically using my whole hand to slap up against my face. I'm just using a finger, or two maybe. Sometimes I wiggle all my fingers, but I'm not really slapping myself hard. So, that's one thing I wanted to make sure I help remind people of because I still see some people try that when I'm leading these sorts of rhythms on the screen. Now, when I'm landing on my cheek drum, I begin stretching my mouth wider and more narrowly open. And that gives me that change in pitch going to up and down in my sounds. Here's some examples for you to try to follow. So one more thing about that, when I'm landing on my cheek drum and I get that kind of whistly water droplet sound, I am landing at the perfect time as my mouth makes this whistle shape. And I'm moving my tongue from the back of my mouth forward at the same time. It takes a lot of practice. I didn't get good at that until I've been playing my cheek drum for a while, but it's always fun to start trying. So just like any instrument, the cheek drum can have beginning fun stuff to do and more advanced sounds that you can make as you practice. So put in the time and get good at playing your cheek drum. I'll look forward to you leading some rhythms with me on your cheek drum over the screen the next time I see you in our live meet lessons. Have a great week, Claxton leaders. We have some jokes that have been submitted today. Zoe S says, what do you call a cow that is afraid of everything? A coward. Uh, Zoe, that was a good one. What do you get when sheep do karate? Lamb chop. Uh, what is a baby's motto? If at first you don't succeed, cry, cry again. <gasps> These are some good jokes. Don't forget, you can submit jokes for the Honeycomb News. Now that a lot of kids are back at school, we don't have so many jokes submitted, but you can still send in jokes. We're gonna keep doing the Honeycomb News. We have some golden tickets. Miss Cassin has a golden ticket for Miss Edens, Miss Kohler, and Miss Hernandez's kindergarten classes for doing a doing so well with morning routines. Way to be proactive and put first things first. Ms. Eldridge would like to give one to Amaya, Owen, 
Conrad, Genevieve, and Rosalyn. Great transition back to school. We learned some, some procedures together that we didn't know and you were patient and understanding. It was so nice to meet you and have you here with me in person. Ms. Eldridge would also like to give a golden ticket to my virtual crew. You did a great job of staying on schedule despite the changes, just like I knew you would. Keep it up. Ms. Rigsby and Ms. Hensey would like to give a golden ticket to their whole class for crushing fact families on Pear Deck on Tuesday. Way to go. Ms. Kickard has a golden ticket for Walker for remembering all of his morning routines without prompting on his first Monday back in class. Our golden teacher from last week is Mr. Godleski. So welcome back to campus Green Week students, third, fourth, and fifth graders. It's so good to see you. It's so wonderful seeing so many smiling faces on our campus. Let's hear a little more about synergizing from our student Lighthouse team. All right, guys, so what your project is this week is I want you to choose a body system and create a presentation for the class, okay? So I'm gonna leave and you guys get going. Should we uh, do the nervous, nervous system? Sure. Sure. I think we should make a video on it. I love videos. Dane, do you agree? Hannah, do you yes, agree? Yes, definitely. No, I totally don't agree. I don't think we should do a video at all. Um, I think we should do a slideshow. And I think my opinion's right. I think I right. Well, yeah, but my opinion also matters. Yeah, but, but so why do not want to do a video? I just, just don't want to do a video. Or is it that you don't know? It's okay. You don't know. Do something. I know. So do you know how to do Wait. it? Or do you just not want to? Well, so. I've never really been taught how to do a video. And uh, I kind of want to learn. So if you don't teach me, I will come to you. Yeah, we you. should. We yeah, should somebody get how to do it, and then we can present the slide a slideshow in the video. What? So we do both. Good idea. Okay, but I don't know how to do the video. So I will teach you. If you don't teach me how to do it, I will come to you. Yeah, we're gonna teach you. We'll teach you. All right. Then did you teach it? All right, it sounds like you guys have a great plan. I can't wait to see your video. Nice work. Claxon leaders, I hope you have a marvelous Monday. Now it's time for the Claxon Pledge. At Claxon Elementary, I am a leader. I pledge to live the habits, value the arts, and celebrate our highest diversity. I work hard to learn new things and always give my best effort. I show respect to others and choose to be a leader in my community. I am attentive, responsible, thoughtful, and safe. I'm a proud and dependable Claxton B, even when no one's watching me. Remember, you and your family can send in jokes and golden tickets and shout outs to our email account and we'll include them in the announcements as soon as we can. The email account that you should 